Well, I, I was assuming they were just polite. Uh, <laughs> I, but Look, politeness is not known at Fancy Farm very much. But you're right, they were pretty polite. Yeah, uh, but I, it was encouraging. Uh, and uh, we just need to work on getting our message out. Uh, where, Can you raise any money? Yeah, we, we're, we've got people volunteering every day wanting to uh, raise money for us. The difference is that most of our uh, people have ne never done this before. We've got people who are getting involved in the political process for the first time. They've never raised a dime and they want to start raising money and they don't know how to raise money. Why would you want to get in a campaign like this? You know you, you've got an almost impossible hill to climb. Because I think that hopefully we can encourage other people and, and empower other people to believe that, you know what, I can do this too. The first thing they try to do is uh, the other candidates is intimidate you with how much money they've raised. And we've certainly had enough multimillionaires to lose to know that it's not just about the money, but it's also about counting votes. And, uh, you know, I kind of think of myself as Gideon in, in uh, the, the book of Judges who, who went against uh, tens of thousands of people. And, you know, I just think that uh, this is the time. I'm not uh, intimidated by how much money they have. I am encouraged by the type of support that we're hearing all across the state. And I just see no reason not to encourage other people. You know, we talk about the fact that we don't have many a can-do legislature. And I don't care whether it's your city council or your state legislature, we need to take on incumbency. And we don't need to allow people to intimidate us with what they have, but what we think we can do. And I think that those who volunteered and have a record of service ought to be listened to. Okay, great, very good, and good luck with your campaign. Thank you so much.